All right, hey you guys, it is Mental Health Monday, and today we're gonna talk about uh, how to do things differently. So sometimes uh, you just can't do the things that you used to be able to do in the same way. And so sometimes when that happens, we isolate away from friends and family and doing those kind of things, but you don't have to. So uh, you just have to figure out a way to do things differently, you know? Uh, PTSD and trauma is a, a mental wound. So if you uh, all of a sudden became physically disabled, like you uh, loved playing basketball and uh, you got in an accident or you were injured and you lost the, the use of your legs, you don't have to give up your dreams and love of playing basketball. You might just have to do it differently. Maybe you join a wheelchair league and uh, do that. You know, I've got a good friend who was in the Marine Corps and he was injured and he used to love snowboarding, just absolutely loved it. And after his injury, he was paralyzed and he couldn't do that anymore. He couldn't snowboard and it really crushed him. He went through a deep depression and isolated away uh, from his friends and family until one day somebody mentioned to him uh, adaptive sports. And now the guy has started doing adaptive sports in the snow and now he does adaptive uh, racing. He actually was on the Paralympic team for a while and then worked as a coach. Uh, he didn't have to give up his love for sports. You know, he was able to find a workaround, find another way to do the things that he loved. And so we can still do those same things. We can do those same things uh, with a mental uh, wound as well. You know, maybe we can't go to concerts like we used to. So maybe we just choose smaller venues. Maybe we choose outdoor venues where we can have some space. I don't know what that is for you, um, but you kind of got to start figuring it out. You know, don't just isolate away from those things that you loved. Find a workaround. Find another way to do it. For me, um, you know, I do a lot of public speaking now, and I work a lot uh, traveling and teaching and speaking, and uh, I get nervous, man. I really do. It, it stresses me out a lot uh, when I travel overseas and when I have to go on mission uh, sleeping in a new place, all the new sounds, and I really struggle with that. So I had to find a workaround, you know, because God has called me to this work where I'm, I'm going up and I'm speaking in front of large crowds, I'm sleeping in strange places, and uh, it's a struggle for me to get through that. But uh, I can't just shy away from it, you know, I can't just, I guess I could, I could just not do it, right? I could just not teach and not travel and not do these things, but then I wouldn't be able to, to help other people heal. Uh, from trauma. So I got to find a workaround. So I invested a lot of money to get a highly trained service animal. And what he does is he helps me uh, feel comfortable being in strange places and being in large crowds. So he's a service animal for PTSD. So he can be on alert. And so I don't have to be. He can create space between me and other people. That way I uh, don't have to. You know, when we're sleeping in strange places and things like that, I've got somebody who's got my six, you know, and, and it works for me. It, it, it does. It works for me. I don't know what it's like for you. I don't know what's going to work for you. Service animals are great. Um, they're a great help for a lot of people. You know, you can look into that, but you got to find a workaround. So now I can be on stage and I can speak. Uh, I can travel to these distant places. And the hope is that I feel a little bit more comfortable. Before, I didn't have to feel too uncomfortable because uh, I didn't have to perform. I didn't have to go in front of people and speak and teach. And now that I have to do that, I really got to be on my A game. I really got to be focused and calm and be able to deliver a message. That way people can hear it and get it down into their heart and start making changes. And I can't do that if I'm not sleeping well at night, if I'm a nervous wreck, if I'm having anxiety attacks the whole time. And so I've got my, my service dog, Sue, uh, we call him a boy named Sue from the Johnny Cash song. And so he's designed to help me feel more comfortable when I'm out there uh, in crowds and speaking and traveling. And so uh, he's right here. Come here, Sue. Climb. Good boy. Sit. So there he is, my service dog, Sue. Come here, buddy. And uh, he's going to be, a, he's a giant schnauzer. So he's probably about 55 pounds right now but he'll probably get closer to 100 when he's fully grown he's only about six months old right now and so uh 
he just got back from a month long in training with uh, Pac Northwest. Uh, they're a canine training company out of Tacoma, Washington. I highly recommend them. Uh, they're great with Sue. And so we're looking forward to many adventures together and many speaking and teaching engagements uh, where Sue can help me just feel more comfortable. So our Mental Health Monday today is for you guys to find a workaround, find a way for you to be able to, uh, sit. for you to be able to do the things that you enjoy um, in a different way. So that's our Mental Health Monday, you guys, and you'll be seeing a lot more of this guy, Sue. If you want, you can follow him on Instagram. Uh, it's a boy named Sue on Instagram, and uh, you can see uh, his kind of life through his eyes and his perspective. So, all right, I'm Sergeant Q, and this is Sue, and we're out.